Hey there, my friend, it's Haley Taylor, and um, I wanted to share in this video how I was able to make such a cool banner on my Facebook fan page. I've had a couple people ask me, and this is a brand new resource that was shared with me from one of my other teammates. So I just want to go over briefly how you can create a cool Facebook uh, fan page banner or a banner to put on your timeline. I used to go uh, just for resource purposes, I used to go to Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and I used to pay somebody to make my banners for me. But the only problem with Fiverr is especially when you want to get a good person, you go to Fiverr.com, and I just want to go here real quick. You go to Fiverr.com, looking for somebody to do like a, you know, a really cheap banner. I mean, everything on this website is $5. So you go here. Okay, sorry, it's not loading. Anyways, you go here and you search for like the ratings after the search and the highest rated people, the highest rated gigs, they call it, will pop up. And sometimes the problem with these is they have a lot of people placing orders. So it could take I've seen seven to nine days and I want something now, I want something fast. I'm usually somebody that will just figure it out on my own so I can get it done faster. So that is what I'm going to show for you guys. If you don't have time, no problem, go to fiverr.com, that's an excellent resource and just place an order for five bucks. Okay, so for this banner right here, this is really cool. Over the weekend, over last weekend, I just got back from a really awesome event with my team. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an internet marketer, and we went to this amazing Orlando event. So I had a lot of nice pictures taken. So that's what some of these are from. So what I did to create this banner was I actually just went to, I went to pickmonkey.com. And then I went up to create a collage, which normally it's not this small, but my computer is being a little weird. Go up to the option create a collage. And so what I wanted to show you guys is the templates that it gives for Facebook cover photos. So, you know, it has a template for you, just a basic frame that you can fill up with your pictures, with some text you know, with some fun stuff that I was able to do. So uh, another option for you is if you don't have any personal photos that you want to put like mine, you can just put scenic pictures as well. Maybe download them from Google Images or something. So go to Layouts right here on the left side, and then go to Facebook Cover, and look at all of these templates it gives you. So the one that I used was this far right one with a bunch of little squares. So you can pick whatever you want, maybe for, for tonight, tonight, today, tonight, whatever. I will choose this option. Go to images once you've picked out your layout and this is the area where you're just gonna drag and drop. So you can go into your own photos and you can drag and drop some cool pictures. See, I'll take some from the event. You know, I'll do like a cool group photo. Maybe I'll do, I had some other pictures that I really liked from the event. Maybe we'll do this one. So this is the area, this is the time when you have a lot of fun. You know, you just decide what pictures you want to put in your, in your banner and you just drag and drop. So I'm going to pick some fun ones. Cool. So I'll just drag and drop the, this group photo. Let's maybe do this one right here. It will create it for you. So I'm just gonna, um, it will create another square if you, if you drop it when it's not lit up. So let me show you. So you have to wait till that square is lit up and then drop it. And then you can actually just X this one out. So drag however you like it, maybe this one and this square. Wait till it lights up, drop it. 
and then you can actually design the frame. So you can make it different colors. You can go over and hover over if it was a background. And this will create an, a really pretty color, whatever stands out to you. I mean, that one's pretty neon. That one's pretty standout-ish. So you can round the corners. And then I would go over, if you wanted to create text, which I did right here. I'm going to show you how I did it. Hover over swatches. And then just choose whatever swatch you like. They have a couple. But I like it because it's a solid background. And you're able, I don't think I like the boo. Let's see if it'll change it. There you go, cool. I'm going to move this one down a little bit. Okay, so once the frame is chosen, the pictures are chosen, the layout is chosen, go up here to edit, open in editor. And then this is where the text comes in. So you can hover over this area, the text, you can pick which one you like. They have a whole bunch of them. So you can just pick the one that you want, and then you're going to say add text. And then a box over here is going to pop up. You're just going to move it to where you want it. Click and start writing. Entrepreneur, you can be like dreamer, visionary, something cool like that. And then click out of it, and then you're going to be able to move it. Okay. And then you can highlight. It's kind of tricky, but click out of it again. There you go. Get back in. There you go. Highlight. You know, maybe make it a different color. You can make it bold. You can fade, which I don't see why you want to fade. And then just click out of it. You got a really cool banner. I mean, that is really a good looking banner. I actually might save that. So what you can do is you can save it. And for me, because I'm a little jaded by saving things and it sometimes doesn't actually get saved, I have a screen capture tool called Jing, J-I-N-G, that I installed into my computer. And every time I want to do a screenshot, I have the option to do it just by clicking on the, the Jing icon up here. So then I'm going to go to save image and you can save it however you want. We'll do a yellow Facebook banner. And that's it guys. So that's basically how I was able to create my really cool, let me save that, my really cool Facebook banner. It's so easy, it's free, and you can create however many little pictures you want. You can get really creative with it, many different color options, many different text options, whatever you want to do. This was a great, great resource for me that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you got some value from it. And uh, go out and make an awesome fan page. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.